right, well, I speak first. Yeah. Right, um, right, right no more jokes, okay, and crazy no. stuff, all right? Ah. Now, it's David's turn now to speak. Well, well, well okay, okay, okay. So, we're, 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 so we're talking about um, the episode, of, what was the last episode of Johnson called just down there? Um, almost People, you're saying? Almost People, the Almost People. Welcome to the Che Blog. This week, Stuart here. You're working away on animations here, aren't you? Don't disturb me. I'm very, very busy. <laughs> Stuart's working in stop motions animation. This is my little brother, brother Stuart, Mini Che. Uh, and He's I, a crazy one. And I'm uh, Dave Che. I'm a film student and I have been doing blogs on Doctor Who. And this week we are talking about, uh, what's the episode called, Stuart? I can't remember now. The almost people, um, and of course, better. which led to the shocking bazinga, uh, bazinga, um, which led to the shocking uh, revelation that Amy had not been there the whole time. So I bellowed from there to a suitably silly crescendo and went on and on and on and on and on for about fifteen minutes or something ridiculous like that. So I decided to cut that entire section out, uh, and instead I'm going to refer to this impromptu recording I made just after watching a film, which just talks about the finale and doesn't really talk about the episode at all. See what you think. I've just watched Arrow for the first time and drank a lot. Um, and I just have to reiterate how excited I am about the finale of this Doctor Who. And also say, The Hangover was funny, but people were telling me this was the funniest film of the decade, and was the, the, the greatest thing that anyone has ever seen. It wasn't. So, the finale. Let's just cover our bases here. So, River Song. We're going to find out who River Song is. And for those of you who don't know, River Song was first introduced uh, with David Tennant in Moffat's story Science of the Library and Forest of the Dead in 2008. So this is actually a plot line that's been running for three years. And finally we're going to get an answer for it. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to find out what that is. And the first time that uh, Tennant met her, the, first, the time to met her, he obviously, he obviously had no idea who they are. And the reason that she gained his trust is by whispering his name in her ear. And oh, and I mean his real name, not the Doctor. Uh, of course, nobody really knows his real name. And uh, that's why he immediately trusted her. Of course, that was a big kind of, ooh, for all the fans. Um, so, um, let me just, just think for a second. So, then she appeared with Matt Smith uh, in his first... Uh, his first two-parter, well I think it was his first two-parter, The Angels, The Angels episode, the episode with the Weeping Angels, uh, left lots of hints, we found out that she killed uh, someone, and that's why she's in prison, uh, killed uh, someone that she said was the best man she knew, the, the, a good man, uh, and then she was in the finale of season 5, also known as season 31, Um there she left more hints about being sort of more of a wifey person to the doctor. <laughs> but didn't really, you know, do much more for us other than just let us see River in action. Um then then um what else do we have? Uh oh yes, she appeared in the opening two part of where we saw the doctor get shot four times, then covered in petrol and set on fire, which was lovely. <laughs> Uh, quite pleased to see the show take a darker delve. Um, so that was quite nice. Well done, Moffat. Especially after the last sort of final fairy tale season, it was quite nice to sort of see something a bit more kind of. You know, a bit more sad and dark. Um, so, and then she really did leave a lot of hints about being, you know, possibly the Doctor's wife, that could have been the hint all the way through, but then again, that could just be Moffat pulling the carpet from underneath, the rug from underneath her feet, as it were. Um, but like, for instance, one of the lines in uh, the opening two-parter of The Impossible Planet, uh, The Impossible Astronaut and Today the Moon was, uh, you know, after she killed all, all the silence and uh, Rory's talking to her outside the third, she says, don't tell my old man, he, he gets off the cross, you know, you know just little things like that. Um, but this is it. This is it. You've seen it in the trailers, or maybe you haven't, because you're not interested in Doctor Who. Um, then why are you watching this? 
But mm, anyway, uh, yeah, she said, um, you know, this is the day that he finds out who I am. So who is he? How, who is she? I really would like the theories there. Unfortunately, I don't have time, or rather, you know, the inclination. No, mostly the time. A little bit of inclination to go out and ask some people, but I would obviously like to have lots of different people going. I think real song is, and you know, blah blah blah. blah. I think blah, 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 blah. lots of fees. Now, so far, the fees have been that uh, she is uh, the doctor's. The, the, she's she's Amy's mum. She's Amy's daughter. She's the doctor's cousin. Uh, all sorts of weird cousins where she all sorts of weird cousins. Uh, all sorts of weird fees, which are maybe just. Tiny little bit, tiny, tiny, it's a little bitty bit wrong. Um, and really, the doctor's wife seems to fit well, but there seems to be something more to it than that. Because you know, all these weird hints that the, 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 the Moffat's left have kind of left you going, eh, eh, wife, but, <laughs> wife, but, mm-hmm. uh, so we, 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 we shall soon see. Um, next thing, Amy's been pregnant for nine months and she's been dragged. Um, not dragged. She's been kept somewhere for all that time by some weird woman who apparently is called Madame Kavorian with the eye patch. You know, eye patch lady, eye patch lady, yeah, eye patch lady. Um, so good God, goodness knows um what's happening there. And um, what I'm really excited about though is not any of that kind of nonsense. River Song is going to be great to find out about her. It's going to be fantastic. Um, what's happened to Amy is going to be great. Who are the people that have taken over Amy? That's going to be great. But what I'm really looking forward to, if you will excuse me for my life, um, in this occasion, I've got to say it, the Doctor is pissed off. And that is brilliant. I mean, we've seen him angry before. We've seen him a little bit annoyed. But we've not seen him truly, really, properly, really pissed off and that is really exciting and Moffat has told us you know he, he he has left those hints what if this man this powerful man that's brought down armies and this 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 guy who has so much influence and control what and you know and it's so good and it's so you know well just you know not go to violence until he has to what happens if you you hurt someone close to him what happens if you really really pissed him off well that is what I am really, really looking forward to seeing because um, from what I'm gathering, um, the whole first like sort of setup of the of the, of the next episode is just purely um, people whispering about, uh, oh dear, you seem to have annoyed the doctor. You should run into like hell, and uh, him running about the galaxy picking up um, an army, building an army. So doctor's building an army. That's going to be interesting. So Amy's pregnant. Why? Who? When? Where? What? When? And who's the time lord girl, the regenerating girl? Who's that? And who is River Song? We'll, we'll all find out um, tonight on tonight's finale episode. If I bother putting this up on YouTube, I don't know if I will. Um, really, I should have done this on Saturday night when the previous episode was uh, done. Anyway, please do watch. I hope you will. Um, and also, tell me why I don't love The Hangover. Because everyone said it was the greatest comedy of all time, but I enjoyed it. But I didn't think it was the greatest thing of all time. Maybe it was too hyped. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you'll all be watching. Have a nice night. Bye bye. See you later next week. Bye bye. Or tonight, yeah. Mm. And back to the original. But be sure to tune in tonight. Bye bye. Okay, well, tune in next week. Next week, so I'll throw you over to the stop motion animations now with Stuart. Okay, bye. See you bye. bye, Stuart. Bye. So the following test uh, is what Stuart has been working on. He's working on stop motion animation. These are the early tests, and next week we're going to show you one of the films that Stuart's made. Mom. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, put the glasses in your right now, David. Go. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm.